Here's Chief Meteorologist Gannon Medwick with your first alert forecast. Using your Bob King GMC first alert sky cam from White Bull, we can launch into this forecast here at 512. Tranquil scenes across the Cape Fear region from Vineland Station to the Murkison Building view in downtown Wilmington here in the top of the 5 o'clock hour. We have some clouds, a little more enhanced cloud cover in the forecast for the day ahead than the last couple of days collectively. But these clouds are innocuous. They're not precipitating and they're not going to today. 41 with a northeast breeze feels like 36, so it is chilly for the Fort City and across the Cape Fear region with a collection of some 30s and a whole lot of 40s. But compared to yesterday, these numbers are at least a couple of points higher. And so that's part of a little small warming trend that could allow us to get into some 70s tomorrow before a setback and a rainy one at that on Thursday. Here's that part as I expand our local radar scan to the eastern U.S. view. Pretty sharp front maintaining the rain from the central Gulf Coast north to the central Great Lakes. This front actually slowing as it approaches the Carolinas. And so when it gets in here, it's going to get hung up for a while. Not today. You leave your umbrella, leave your rain gear at home. If you're up and at them early for school, getting set to make it a great day in your classroom or on the playground. Looks like recess outside, even with some of that more enhanced cloud cover temperatures clawing their way to the 60s. Here's a 3 p.m. view, maybe functionally like school bus drop off this afternoon. Middle of the afternoon, we have more clouds and then the thicker stuff to the west. Your cloud and future radar model goes hour by hour. And we see that incursion of moisture a little bit more tomorrow. So we have a first alert action day program for some heavy rain elements Wednesday night into Thursday, but we don't want to disinvolve Wednesday from having at least spotty shower and downpour activity. I want you to know that. But here's where the system really digs in. As it develops along the coast, that could be a really messy drive for Thursday morning on the commute. And we pull up to like we're stopping at 3 p.m. Thursday afternoon, still some lingering rain and probably falling temperatures and increasing winds, some gusty winds and another round of marine bulletins. And remember, because we had a big soaker just a few days ago, the threshold for ponding and even poor drainage flooding is a little lower. The payoff still looks like it's Easter weekend. I'm pleased to continue to be able to bring you that news. Let's get back to today and your saltwater boards for the beach. 60s in the air, probably lower end 60s near that 58 degree surf and east breezes. Upcoming high tides on your screen include one in the bottom of the 8 o'clock hour for east and south facing beaches. And offshore, we still have a last little bit of a small craft advisory this morning. And then the marine advisories will stop. And Kim and Bill, I think they're going to start up again as we get into Thursday with that system. Hard to believe Easter really is just a couple of days away. It I, flew by. I know, and I'm so Lens, behind the right. eight ball on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I still have some jelly beans and such to get. <laughs> I have yeah. a lot of things to get. I haven't pulled any of my decorations out, and tick I have tock, not tick made tock, a plan. Right? Yeah, I know. Well, Mama Nature's decorating pretty good. Absolutely. I see all the blooms and the Pops. blossoms. Yeah. yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> all right, that helps. So. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Cannon.